Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to install the Eclipse in your Windows 10 operating system. The prerequisite for installing the Eclipse in your operating system is that you should have Java installed in your operating system. If you don't know how to install Java, you can watch my latest video on installing the Java in your operating system. So let's start how to install the Eclipse in your operating system. So firstly you should open the favorite browser whichever favorite browser is yours like I have opened the Chrome browser and I have simply typed Eclipse ID when you type the Eclipse ID most probably the first link will be this one eclipse.org URL so I will click on this URL So once I click on this URL, this page gets opened. So I will simply click on the download button. So once I click on the download button, it is giving me more options. So this is the latest Eclipse which is compatible for my system. So I will simply click on this button, download x86 underscore 64. So now I have clicked on this button. So this is writing all downloads are provided in the terms and conditions of the Eclipse unless otherwise specified. So I am clicking on this download button. So once I click on this download button, so automatically the download of GRE will start. So because I have already downloaded this, so I will not download this again but you have to download this file in your system. So this is the file, exe file, which I have already downloaded in my system. So I will open this with the admin rights. So I will just right click over this and I will open this with run as admin. So once I click on run as admin, you can see the installer of the Eclipse gets opened so let's wait for some time till this installer gets opened as you, as you can see the eclipse installer has been opened and there you can see we have eclipse id for multiple type of tasks if you are a java developer you need to click on eclipse id for java developers if you are a c++ developer you need to click on this option Similarly, there are many options for multiple type of developers. So since we are Java developers, so I will simply click over here, Eclipse IDE for Java developer. So when I click on the Eclipse IDE for Java developer, this is the next option. So it will automatically pick up the JDK installed in my computer. As I shown you in my last video, this was the path where we had installed the JDK in our computer and this is the installation folder where the eclipse files will be copied so this is at c users and then there will be eclipse folder and inside that there will be another folder java 202012 so until or unless i don't have a good reason to untick this so i will keep uh, these options as ticked and then i will click on the install button so once I click on the install button, the installing will start and it will ask me for to give agreement on some options. So I will simply click on accept now. So once I click on the accept now button, the installation has been started. So it will take some time. We will wait till the installation is not completed. So guys now you can see the installation has been completed and the launch button has been appeared so I will simply click on the launch button and when I click on the launch button what it will internally do it will simply click on the eclipse.exe file as you can see in the tooltip it will click on the e eclipse.exe file presented the path C users Amandeep Eclipse and then Java and then uh, eclipse eclipse.exe so i it will simply click this exe file so i will click on the launch button so once i click on the launch button you can see the eclipse pop-up has been appeared 
so it will take some time for the first time to load so as you can see uh, the eclipse pop-up has been appeared and you can see here the by default the workspace path has been set up unless you don't have any good reason to change this path keep this path as it is or you can use your specific path as well so i will keep this path as it is and then i will click on the launch button so once the launch button is clicked the eclipse will start getting opened so let's wait for some time till the eclipse is getting opened So guys now you can see the eclipse has been opened and this page has been appeared so you will simply cross this welcome page uh, so I will be simply clicking over here and then what I will do if I need to create a new project then I, can, I will be able to create a new project but now the eclipse setup has been completed so guys I hope you enjoyed this second video for the Java tutorial so till now we have installed the Java and we have installed the Eclipse in case you are missing any part you can watch our respective videos on this and in the next tutorial I will tell you how to write a simple Java class what is Java class and what are various packages which we can include in our Java classes so stay tuned with our tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.